I'm here in E5102 talking with Dave Thomas of Sodic Inc. How are you, Dave? I'm good. So tell me, what can we see in the booth here today? You can see our latest technology. Uh, we, we've focused on EDM. Uh, about 70% of our sales in North America are EDM. And we focus on high technology uh, equipment. So you have three different types of EDM machines here in the booth? Actually, we have two different types. We have the wire EDM machines and the sinker EDM machines. Okay, well, why don't you tell me about this one we're standing in front of? Okay, the new model is a uh, SL600Q. Uh, we just launched this into our market, and it represents the, the volume end of our business. And I understand you've just implemented MT Connect with this model, is that correct? Yeah, sure. We recognize that that's an important feature in the North American market. Uh, we worked in partnership with System Insight, and uh, IMTS is the launch of that uh, product. And what are some of the applications of this machine? Uh, the applications are right across many industries. Certainly we focus on mold and dye and um, uh, medical, medical parts, implants and instrumentations and aerospace parts. Okay, well let's go see what else you have here. So this is another wire EDM machine. Tell me about this one. Yeah, this is a larger capacity machine. It's an AQ750LH. Um, this is a very popular machine in the aerospace industry. And actually, for the IMTS show, we, uh, we focus on an aerospace type application. Uh, the application we're, uh, we're featuring here is uh, uh, an aerospace hub. Uh, that's, that's the part that holds the, the blades on the, on the aerospace engine. And we're actually machining what's termed a fir tree root, which is a high precision anchor for the blade. So how long will it take to complete this process? It depends on the thickness of material and the type of material, but you can say it's probably a 10 to 20 hour process, depending on the size. Okay, so now what are we going to see next? Uh, we'll we go to a, a new machine that has high capacity uh, Z-axis. All right, let's go check it out. Tell me what's special about this machine. Well, this is the VZ500. Uh, actually, it's the LH model. Uh, this is the new model to IMTS. Uh, we previously had a VZ500L. Uh, but from custom demand, they were demanding a bigger Z capacity. Um, so we developed this machine with an 18-inch Z capacity for tackling much higher work pieces. So what am I seeing here? What part are you making? We're making a, a mold core. Um, the mold core is 18 inches high. And actually, the, the VZ500LH uh, is a new model for IMTS. Uh, we developed this model because of the demand from customers. They really came to us and, and demanded that we have a higher Z axis. Okay, well let's see your last wire EDM machine. So this, the setup of this machine is a little different. Tell me what, what makes this special. Okay, this is a special machine. It's a, a micro machining wire EDM. Um, one of the main differences is that we actually use oil as a dielectric as opposed to water on the other machines. That allows us to really uh, make very small parts. And we're running with a two thou wire here. To give you some example of that, your hair is nearly six thou. Wow. Right. And that allows us to machine parts that are really uh, small. Um, example of that is what we're doing here is a, uh, a lead frame. So can we see that part? Yeah, it's pretty small to see, but... Uh, wow, that's amazing. You can see the detail there. How cool is that? That's correct. And actually, the oil allows us to do that. If we were using water, it'd be much more difficult to machine that part. Okay. And now we're going to take a look over here to see a whole different kind of EDM machine. Great. Okay, this is actually a combination machine where we're using automation to combine two different processes. Uh, here we have a high-speed machining center where we're machining uh, a part to a high precision. And then we're also manufacturing the electrode, a graphite electrode on the same machine. And then we're transferring both parts to the sinker EDM and performing a sinker and EDM operation on the same part. So you said this is high speed. What are we talking here? High speed means we're, uh, we have a spin that can run at uh, 40,000 RPM. Wow, that's pretty fast. I mean, 20,000 seems pretty fast, right? Yeah, 40,000 is kind of our standard on this type of machine. And, but also, we can move the axes. They're linear motor driven, and we can move them up to 36 meters a minute. So you're saying there's a robot here that takes them. Tell me what's going on here. That's right. There's a robot in the center that can feed both machines left and right, and uh, we combine it in one cell. So you can set this machine up to run for you know, maybe 50 hours running parts. All right, so this is new for this year. Do you have one more thing to show us, is that right? So this is one of your sinker EDM machines. Tell me about this one. That's correct, it's a new model for IMTS. Um, it's a larger capacity machine. Um, we had, a, again, a demand from our customers to build a, 
an economic uh, price machine at, at large capacity. Uh, it's, in this case, we're focused on again on aerospace, and this is a repair part. It's an aerospace part um, that is going to be repaired, and we're machining a cavity that would be uh, part of the repair cycle. But aerospace is not the only industry that could use this machine, correct? No, absolutely not. It would be also mold and die and uh, you know, uh, uh, mining and uh, drilling. All right. Well, thank you, Dave, for talking with us today. And be sure to stop by the SODIC booth in the East Building, 5102.